Got it bad, and that ain't You really liked it? How would you like a full-time job singing here? You mean it? Oh, gee. Now, it's no better roses. Your friends down at the church won't be caught dead down here. It's honest work. Thanks, Mr. Kyriakis. I'll sing for my supper, but that's all. You're awfully suspicious. I've got reason to be. I hear stories. The girls at the Y say all men are beasts. And frankly, doll, you've got a way to go before the wolves start chasing after you. What's that supposed to mean? It means pinup girls don't get their clothes at the Salvation Army. There's nothing wrong with the way I look. Well, that may be true if this were church. But if you're going to sing for me, I can't see. We can see you. That's all that matters. Little makeup, snazzy dress, you'll clean up just fine. Maybe better than fine. Mr. Horton? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't hear you come in. Please, uh, have a seat. Thank you. I'm Nicole. Yes, yes, I know. Everyone in Salem knows who you are. Please, sit. Miss Walker. I know who you are, too. Well, it's not bad. The other side's better. Is it true? Yeah, it's true. A couple of months ago, I helped put Big Louie in the pen for life. And now, somehow, the underworld's taken me off their Christmas list. Guess that's what I get, trying to help the forces of law and order. I don't understand. I guess Louie's just as big a man inside as he was out. Put the freeze on old Lucas Horton. That means that if anybody comes through that door, want a little business, there's a chance a goon's gonna show up at yours to not so politely ask you to take your business elsewhere. Well, I'm interested in hiring you, and no one says boo to me. Yeah, well, I guess that's what I get for trying to be a good guy. I don't scare easy. I don't care if you're a good guy or not. I don't even need to like you. Well, that's too bad. Well, I like you just fine. What I need is a good P.I. Well, then we're a match made in heaven. What I need is a good client. $35 a day, plus expenses. I'd say you could use all the work you can get. 25. Walk through that door and you try to chisel me? All right, let's make it 40. And I want the whole thing in advance. I like your spunk, Mr. Horton. What's the job, Miss Walker? It's Demira, actually. Mrs. Demira. But no one ever seems to remember that. Maybe that's part of the problem. I want you to find someone for me. Who? The cheap tart has been sleeping with my husband. You got a name? Well, if I knew that, Mr. Horton, I wouldn't need you. Do you have any clues that will help me find her? Just one. This. An earring. Never. 
never treats me sweet and gentle the way he should I've got it bad and that ain't good my poor heart is so sentimental not made of wood I've got it so bad and that ain't good Give me a bottle of champagne, will you? When I'm done with that, I'll take the song bed on the rocks. If you're lonely, call your wife, have her join you. Who is she? She's taken. I hope you. Yeah. She just doesn't know yet. Well, in my book, that makes a fair game. What are you going to do if another man gets his hands on her? That would not be smart. Look good for herself. What's the matter, Seamus? Where did you get that earring? In my bedroom. After I was fool enough to leave my husband alone for an afternoon. It's your lucky day, lady. Case closed. Well, that was fast work. Yeah, well... Hardest money I ever earned. Seems like I should get a discount. Not this time. Your little case just broke my heart. Why is that? You know that cheap tart you were talking about that slept with your husband? It's my wife, that's her earring. You sure? Don't you think I'd recognize the most expensive thing I ever bought her? Of course I'm sure. Small world, huh? Yeah, too small. So what are you going to do about it? Don't you worry. I'll think of something. Mr. Horton. Miss Lane, is, is that you? Yeah, not bad, huh? I got a little glammed up. Boy, I'll say you did. Uh, what happened to my quiet little secretary? The one with the glasses who could barely make a decent cup of joe. That's the hard part, the glasses. I'm blind as a bat. Miss Lane, if you're here for money, I can't pay you. Oh, Just... no, 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 that's OK. I got a new job. A paying one? Mm-hmm. Well, that's great. What are you doing? Oh, who cares? Uh, I'm making pretty good money, and I know you're hard up for cash, so... It's a lot of simoleons. They're mostly singles. Go ahead, take it. The day I take a hand out from a dame is the day they have to bury me six feet under. Don't be like that. You've always been so good to me. I just want to give something back. 
Well, if you want to make me happy, just be a good girl and keep your nose clean. It's a lot of money. You're not doing something you're going to regret later, are you? Like what? Oh, no, no, no. How could you even think that? My heart belongs to one man and one man only. It always has. Oh, yeah, who's that? Some P.I. like this. Your husband doesn't know how to treat you like a lady. Uh, he tries, but I know you always will, won't you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a table? Or a bed? <laughs> I heard that. He's funny. Stop. But first, where does a little girl go who needs to powder her nose? <laughs> your wife ever finds out about her, you can say bye-bye to all that money. If you let me worry about my wife. Huh? Watch out, Junior. Or your two time, it'll be the death of you. What's wrong? Didn't I do it right? The way I'm feeling now is illegal. That's a compliment, right? Where have you been all these years, Chloe Lane? You're a real peach, you know it? Your eyes, they sparkle, they light up your face. That must be my stigmatism. I would pay to be with you. But it's illegal in every state except for Nevada. And I'm a married man. Doesn't mean a hill of beans to most guys, but it does to me. Could never cheat on my marriage. Sammy can. I mean. Yeah, I know, I know. Even if I'm the last to know, I know what you mean. She could never love you the way that I love you, Lucas. Yeah, I guess that's something I'm just gonna have to get through myself. How cozy. <clears throat> Miss Walker. It's Mrs. Demera. Uh, this is my old... No offense, uh, honey. I don't care who you are. He's the private dick. I'm the client. You're just in the way. Excuse me? When you're free, I'm ready to go on the stakeout with you. It's a bad suggestion. I wasn't asking. I want to catch my husband in the act. Well, you don't want to see that. I'll get you pictures. That's what the courts want anyway. I'm coming, like it or not. Let's go, hot stuff. Mr. Horton, who is that woman? She's just a client. Don't worry, kid. I'm not the competition. It's business. I've got to get back to work anyway. Where's work? That's my business. Oh, and Mr. Horton, if you change your mind, just let me know. Well, I won't, but, uh, how do I get a hold of you? Just whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you? No, I never learned. Just put your lips together and blow. You got burned by one dame, you're already soft on another? Let's just keep it business, huh? Fine by me. Come on, let's go. 